It's an early morning harvest here in this cornfield owned by Hopkins Produce up here in Harford County. Now today we've got a crew of guys going through looking for the very best deers to take back to the farm stand to a group of customers who expect the very best. Your customers tell you, they let you know. Some of them are, they're very picky about their sweet corn, so you wanna always try one to have a great product, but it's, it can be a challenge some years. Despite the challenges, the Hopkins have continued to grow sweet corn for the past 40 years on their 200-acre family farm in Haver de Grace. While sweet corn is their most popular crop, they raise a variety of produce. So we got the sweet corn, you tomatoes, cantaloupes, watermelons. In addition to that, we got field corn, suey beans, barley, a little bit of hay. The biggest chunk of that be sweet corn, which is about 30 acres. They might look the same to the untrained eye, but compared to the sweet corn on the left, the field corn on the right is taller, thicker, and sturdier. And the differences don't stop there. So you're driving down a country road and you see a beautiful green field of corn. Well, what you're looking at is sweet corn. It looks like this, all nice and white and tender. You go a little bit further and you see the, the corn looking like this, all, all dried out and brown and everything. You think, my goodness, they're having a drought. No, what they're doing, they're growing field corn. And it looks like this. They're leaving the cobs out there to get nice and hard. So don't ever try to bite down on these because you'll break your teeth. However, it's great for chickens, pigs, and cows. That's because most field corn is intended for livestock feed. Although some does make its way into your kitchen, just not necessarily on the cob. Field corn's processed. You got your cereal stuff that you use for. What else you got? Corn syrup, corn starch, corn, all kinds of corn products. While the Hopkins harvest their field corn by machine, for the sweet corn, they prefer a human touch. There is a lot of sweet corn that's picked mechanically. There, you know, there are, may say, bigger operations that have mechanical sweet corn pickers. You know, it's still got to be sorted going through, and a lot will be thrown out. And a lot of your sweet corn, it's just not all ready at the same time. Now, I've noticed that when you go through actually picking, there's a little bit of a technique involved. Can you show me? I'm right-handed, but I pick corn left-handed anyway. But anyway, I just kind of give it a twist and the snap and down. Well, Dave, let's see what this looks like in here. Oh my goodness. That's pretty. Looks good. That, it looks that good. is really pretty. And Dave's favorite part of picking sweet corn. We eat a lot more raw corn out in the field than we probably do cooked. Unless, of course, his wife, Michelle, makes her special soup with fresh corn. Chicken broth, heavy cream, half and half milk, diced ham, onions, thyme, and of course, fresh corn. That's the best part of it. You can't be buying canned corn. You need to have fresh corn. I mean, it's so much better. Now, I'll just have to give it a try to find out if there's a kernel of truth to that. Well, here's Michelle's corn pudding and corn soup. Two simple recipes, but if you go around the state of Maryland, I guarantee no two kitchens make it the same way. I'm gonna give this a shot. This is the corn soup. Oh, wow. She uses fresh corn, and it makes a huge difference. The taste is really incredible. She's given us the recipes, and we're gonna put them on our website. So go to mpt.org farm, and you can check them out and try them at home. For the local buy, I'm Al Spoiler. Joanne? Thanks, Al. Be sure to check out mpt.org slash farm for all our local buy recipes. And you can watch full episodes there as well. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media for show updates and a look behind the scenes.